All right, everybody, welcome to Parney Story Time. Parney Parnell with the Roots and Flying Squirrels here with my buddy Nutsy. Uh, we're, we're having a good time just spending time with each other and, and relaxing and thinking about positive thoughts. And one of my really good friends, Brian Jordan, wrote a book. And Brian Jordan's one of my all-time favorite people. He played in the NFL and also played Major League Baseball. And Brian was with us this past January at our hot stove banquet to raise money for Flying Squirrels Charities. So Brian wrote a book called I Told You I Can Play. And we're gonna read it today for you guys and for Nutsy. So are you ready to go, Nutsy? And Brian Jordan, thank you for writing this book. Here we go. When Brian was a little boy, he was eager to do everything, but he especially loved to play sports. Brian loved to play basketball. He loved to play baseball and he loved to play football. That's it. That's how I was when I was growing up in Locust, North Carolina. I played every sport. Brian's twin brother and sister were two and a half years older than he was. Brian wanted to do everything they did. He was determined to keep up with them. But the twins didn't like their little brother following them around. They tried everything to get away from him. Sometimes the twins waited until Brian went to the bathroom, then they would try to sneak away to go out and play. But their mom and dad always spoiled the plan. You see the mom and dad, Nancy? They have the mom and dad face on them right there. See that? Like... When Brian was a little older, he wanted to play with his brother and his brother's friends. But Brian's brother thought a six-year-old was too young to hang out with nine-year-olds. Besides, he was the only one who had to babysit a little brother. The older boys were tough. They played rough. The alley where they played football was as hard as a rock, but they would crash to the hard field, bounce back up and keep playing. So Brian knew he had to be tough too. Brian wanted to play with them, but they wouldn't let him. You're too little, his brother said but I can play, Brian insisted. See Brian pleading with him? One day, Brian overheard his brother talking to a friend on the telephone. They were preparing to play a game. I want to play too, Brian said. I told you, you're too little. You'll get hurt, said his brother. Brian was so disappointed. He had to watch his brother and his brother's friends play football. They were having so much fun. Suddenly, a player's mother called. Johnny, come home now, she demanded. Now another player was needed to replace Johnny. Am I going too fast, Nutsy, you okay? Brian jumped to his feet. I can play, let me play, he pleaded. Brian's brother thought for a moment. All right, come on, he said. Maybe Brian will learn a lesson. He'll see that he's too little to play with us, Brian's brother said to himself. I like that guy's hat right there. Brian was so excited, finally he could show everyone that he could play. At first, Brian's teammates didn't give him much of a chance. How could he show them he could play if they wouldn't let him run with the ball? Then, just as his brother was being tackled, he tossed the ball to Brian. Brian caught it! Brian ran with the ball. One boy tried to tackle Brian, but Brian dodged him. He dodged another boy and then another. Kids standing on the sidelines cheered as Brian raced up the field. Go, Brian, go, Brian, they yelled. See Brian running right there? Then a much bigger player caught Brian. Thud! He threw Brian to the hard ground. Brian lay there. His eyes began to tear. Touchdown, someone yelled. Brian scored a touchdown. All the players gathered around the new star. Some patted him on the back. Brian had done something really special for a six-year-old. He had scored a touchdown against his brother's tough friends. That was great, a tall boy said. Brian looked at his older brother. He held the football firmly in his hands and said, I told you I could play. And that's the end. And there's a picture of 
the real Brian Jordan. So everybody out there, please be safe. Please read books. Please enjoy time with your friends like I just enjoyed time with Nutsy. Please be kind. Please love each other. And until Nutsy and I see you again, have fun. Go nuts.